JD, great win over the Sharks, but I think the team's defence has been a highlight of this final series. Yeah, mate, it has been the last 10 weeks. I think you take out the Newcastle and um, Bulldogs game where we rested our origin players, I think we've been one of the best defensive teams in the comp through that 10 game period. So we're confident with what we're doing defensively and we'll need to be tomorrow night. And losing liver was, was a big blow, but it's good to see Jed back. Yeah, it's huge. Yeah, it's um, yeah, gutted for, for Lever, but uh, fingers crossed we get through and he'll be right for the next week. But yeah, Cardi's been good every time he's put on that jersey and I'll expect no different tomorrow night. And I heard you say in the main presser that AJ has been ruled out. He couldn't quite get through the session without pain and we're going to see Richie Kenner take the spot on the left wing. Yeah, yeah, Richie's um, he's got a strong carry out of the back of the field. He's really good in the air, which is important. Uh, and he's uh, got a good connection with Cody. They've grown up playing together. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing Richie go. I read a story where Cam said Isaiah Yeo is the best lock in the game. I don't think I'd swap him. The sort of form Cameron's been in that. No, it's, exi it's exciting for Cam. You know, that, these are the challenges that he wants to be in. You know, he, he respects what Isaiah Yeo does, but he also knows that he, he, you know, deep down he wants to be that guy, and he, I'm sure he'll go after it tomorrow night. And I heard you say the ref won't decide the game, but the Panthers blocking story has been all over the media. So what's your take on it, mate? Yeah, like I said, I don't really mind. You know, it is what it is. The refs will ref the game, and we know what we need to do to, to get pressure on Cleary, and it, it, we don't need to be complaining to the refs. And I also heard you say that, look, Cleary's one tackle, but there's another five tackles. So what have we got to focus on to beat the Panthers? we have got to focus on our kicking game where we end our sets, um, and then our line speed and putting pressure on them to come out of their end. And most importantly, we've got to control that play five. We can control the players' ball speed, then otherwise we can't get any pressure on him. So if we can do that, then we can get some pressure. And no one has ever won this competition from outside the top four in the NRL era, but that just means someone's going to do it eventually. It'd be nice for us to do our 22nd comp in 2022. Yeah. What would well, that mean to you, JD? Oh, it's, obviously, it's huge. Your dream's still alive. You know, and that's what we want this time of year. We want to be looking to make memories, and uh, Saturday night, we're hoping to make some more. I'm not sure if you watched our interview with Joe O'Callaghan, but I'm sure you're aware of some of the young, talented players coming through. There's yeah, there is. There's some really good talent coming through. Really excited for some folks that are joining us in pre-season next year. Plus the extra year that we've had with, with the players out of here, there's some um, real reason for optimism, and, and the club looks good for the future. And you're taking on Wayne Bennett and Nico next year at the Dolphins. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Eh? I'll be sending the old dog some messages through the week and, <laughs> um, and the goat as well. Yeah, I don't know how we prep against the goat. But yeah, looking forward to it. But yeah, you got some big games coming before then. Yeah. It's a bit of a dynamic duo, those two, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't know who's older. <laughs> and before we let you go, have you got another message for the members and fans that are coming to Acor to cheer on the boys on Saturday night? Yeah, just pumped to be back at Acor, um, have all our fans there. I know there's going to be 50, 60,000, how excited the boys are. It's our home game, let's make some noise and um, everybody write us off, but trust me when I tell you, we'll be turning up tomorrow night. JD, good luck, thank you very much. Thanks, Bobo. Cheers, mate.